the following could be a typical past life example that some people may have already experienced or possibly will in the future. The haunting of Andrea. Andrea had always been fascinated by the idea of past lives. She loved reading books and watching documentaries about people who claimed to remember their previous incarnations, and she had even gone to a few past life regression sessions herself. But one day, Andrea's fascination turned to fear. She started having strange dreams and, unexplainable experiences that left her feeling shaken and unnerved. In her dreams, she would see snippets of her past lives, fleeting glimpses of people and places that felt familiar yet strange at the same time. She saw herself as a soldier in a war, a princess in a castle, and a sailor on a ship, among other things. But it wasn't just in her dreams that Andrea felt haunted by her past lives. She would often find herself drawn to certain places or objects, as if they held some kind of significance for her. A dilapidated house on the edge of town, an antique mirror in an antique shop, a necklace with a strange symbol on it that she found at a flea market. Andrea knew that she was being ridiculous, that there was no such thing as past lives, but the more she tried to rationalize her experiences, the more they persisted. One night, Andrea decided to try a past life regression session again, hoping that it would help her make sense of what she was feeling. But this time, something was different. As the hypnotist guided her through the session, Andrea felt a strange energy coursing through her body. She saw herself sitting in a dark, foreboding place, surrounded by candles and dressed in an outfit she didn't recognize. Suddenly, Andrea felt a sharp pain in her chest, as if something was trying to break through. She gasped for breath and clutched at her chest, but the pain only intensified. And then, as suddenly as it had started, it was over. Andrea raced from the hypnotist's office, drenched in sweat and trembling, trying to call her friend for reassurance. Andrea then realized that she had unleashed something that she couldn't control. The past lives that had once fascinated her were now a source of terror, haunting her every waking moment and invading her dreams. Andrea tried to distance herself from anything that reminded her of her past lives, but it was no use. They were a part of her now, and they would not be denied. In the end, Andrea had no choice but to confront her past lives head on. She visited the dilapidated house on the edge of town, and saw herself living there in another lifetime. She looked into the antique mirror and saw herself staring back, but with a different face and a different life. She wore the necklace with the strange symbol and felt its power coursing through her veins. Andrea had finally come to understand that her past lives were not something to be feared, but something to be embraced. They were a part of her, and they had shaped her into the person she was today. And so, Andrea continued to explore her past lives, not with fear or trepidation, but with a sense of wonder and curiosity. She knew that there was still much to learn, and that her journey was far from over. But for the first time in a long time, she felt at peace with her haunted past. I hope you enjoyed my video and if you have had a similar experience I would love to hear about it in the comments below. There's a lot more than this story I will be posting more videos soon so please, like, subscribe and leave a comment it doesn't take much but it really means a lot to me, thank you.